Hello, this is Corbus Gaming, and welcome to another edition of Let's Play Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin Edition. Alright, um, yes. We're back at Majula, and every... Oh, they... Okay. They decided to attack him, and... They died. They decided to attack this knight, and they died. Let's talk you with him. Undead, aren't you? Yep. You have that distinct scent. The smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything, and now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Yes. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Yes, the curse of the undead. Dark Souls 2 explains a lot about that curse. You see, you, you see, you are immortal, but each time you die, you are reborn. And, and which, with which new life, you lose a bit of your soul. Until there is nothing left but a hollow, immortal body. That does not think, either consciously or unconsciously. It just, it's just, it's just a hollow body swinging its arms around aggressively killing anything that moves without any kind of reason either un unconsciously or consciously it's just it just is it's, it's 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 disgusting really it's very hard to understand but that's the curse of the undead that's what it is do you know much about souls and he will explain it i think I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Exactly. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth, that's the real curse right there. We undead will never die that's a good thing and that's quite a predicament really. until you lose your soul there are four beings in this land with giant souls and wherever you go from here you'll sooner or later come up against them each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse if that frightens you then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> Not funny, dude. Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the blue sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. Actually, I can later on abandon Covenants, as I have reading. I have been reading the game, so yes, why not? I'll join the Blue Covenant. That is a wise decision. People are weak, but the Blue Sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Let the Sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Do you feel lonely here? It suits me just fine, as I have nothing left anyway. 
It will grow on you, this place. Give it some time. Learn Jester. Welcome, Jester. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. There was once a great fort, but little of it remains. You may just find something there that will be of use on your journey. But don't venture too far inside, or you might not come back. Hade's Tower of Flame lies beyond the far gate. In the cathedral, the Apostles of Blue gather. But the road leading there is perilous. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, I just don't know. Have you seen that pit, that gaping hole in the earth? Yes, what is it? I don't know what it's like down below, but I wouldn't suggest trying to find out. Besides, you will never make it down there. Not without a ladder of some sort. Or a spell. The flame you see there, is, they exist all across the land. Beacons to we undead. If you are tired, try resting beside the flame. The flame heals us. Long ago, a woman called a fire keeper watched over each bonfire. She kept the flame lit and guarded it from those who would extinguish it. I wonder where the fire keepers went. I know. Did you notice any letters on the ground on the way? These are messages that have jumped the fissures between worlds. In Drang Lake, the flow of time is convoluted. Things shift and waver, twist and turn. Poignant wishes, dashed dreams, the messages convey our very inner thoughts. If your will to soldier on falters, try leaving a message. Somebody out there is sure to listen. You may notice symbols. These are summon signatures. They call upon spirits from other worlds. Oh, that's it. In time. That's cool. If you fear hollows, find summon signatures to call upon spirits to help you. Do you see the way beyond? There was once a great fort. In a rush, are we? Friend ahead, true. Rough for the spear. <laughs> That's funny. No, he gave me something, correct? Great. Have a have a new ring that slightly increases my HP. Slightly. Cave ahead. If I am to be invaded, someone will help me. It's locked. Damn it. Oh, let's see if the merchant has anything new. I did spend money on him. Oh, I was hoping I've stocked some new things. I oh! Might be interested. They've been selling rather well. And I may step up operations soon. I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm surprising even myself. Be honest. So each time I spend stuff souls on you, you will improve your merchandise. Interesting. Royal Soldier Helm. Did I mention before that 
Well, I'm not from these parts. Yes. I was on a journey, and somehow ended up here. The desolation here was disenchanting at first, but over time, things started to turn my way. Yeah, I've, I've got a good few regulars now. They're all strangely desperate and quite willing to pay a premium. Sadly, some of them never come back. Have you seen that warrior lugging that giant blue sword about? I'm no expert, but that appears to be a fine specimen. The monstrous thing has a peculiar design, quite unlike anything found in Volgan. If you should speak to him, would you ask him if he won't sell it? I'd have to take another look, but I'm confident I could offer quite a price. I considered returning to my homeland, but I've decided to stay a while longer. I've started to turn a handsome profit now, and I can't bear to give it up. <laughs> I considered returning to my... I've started to turn a handsome profit. Finished already? Yep, we're done here. Let's move on. Let's explore. Let's go up. Oh, look at that. A cave. Let's go inside. Oh, that's a parry. Oh, interesting. Liar head. Toxic ahead. Try attacking, then hurrah for weapon. Praise the sun. Solaire, are you here? Wow. Wow! <laughs> wow! Friend ahead, stay calm. Wow, look at that. An entire army went in one suit. Praise the sun. Visions of Dash. Hello. Have you business with me? The way you're under is all blocked up, you see, by this god office statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? Oof. I'm in quite the pickle now. See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough. It starts to look alive. Ach, it just doesn't he seem quite right. There are no craftsmen round these parts. Hey, you don't think a real life person was turned to stone, do you? Wow, that would be bad. See that statue? Gives me the willies. Oh, there's someone there. The fuck are you? Sorry. Oh, what? Who's? Oh, my. Hey, some jolly cooperation. So, oh, you're not so there. Oh, my God. Fuck you! Can you target?
Come on, come at me! Son of a bitch. Long sword. Huh. How are you fucking alive? Lloyd's Talisman. I remember that. How do I sort this? <laughs> <laughs> 